I really want young men to understand the ramifications of having children as an American male. Um, basically, from the day she's pregnant until that baby is in its 20s or even older, you're a second class citizen. All rights go to the woman. All advantages go to the woman. All help goes to the woman. All benefit of the doubt goes to the woman. When you talk to police, you won't be believed or they just won't care. When you go to court, she will always be given the advantage over you from a judge's aspect. Um, I had my first daughters taken from me and the judge said nothing else but you're a man and a man can't raise girls. No other reason. I wasn't a bad dad. I wasn't, I was a good dad. But once we split up, now I'm Hannibal Lecter and I can't see my kids and all this other crazy shit. <clears throat> so here we are. My, uh, unfortunately, my second wife. Apparently my picker is broken. My second wife was able to divorce me and in the process she even robbed my business. She brought three people in my store and two guns. One gun with a bullet in the chamber per the police report. Commercial. Per the police report. And she was arrested. I give Brighton PD their, their flowers on that. They arrested her for armed robbery. But the problem is the district attorney got her into court. And now here comes the tears. Here comes the crying. And I'm just a poor single mother. And they let her off. That's right, guys. Two guns. So let's, let's talk about it. What would have happened if I had pulled two guns on her and held her employees at gunpoint? and emptied her register. Do you think the district attorney would let me cry in court and drop the case? Oh, fuck no. I'm getting 25 years. I'm getting big, big decades for armed robbery. And armed robbery is a serious thing. So, here we are, three years later, because my ex-wife wasn't prosecuted, she literally believes she can do what she wants. And really, if you look at it, she can. Because if you think about it, there is no checks for an out of control woman in our system. I can't check her. I'll go to jail. The police don't want nothing to do with it. They won't do shit. And the courts always favor the woman. We all know this. So my advice to all you young men out there, do not have any children in this country. You're better off not having sex. Seriously, don't even touch these broads because the whole system is designed against you. You will get no help. When a single dad goes to the food stamp office, you know what he gets? He gets $75 and a job list. When a woman goes, she gets $300 then she gets free uh, health care. She gets free housing. She gets all this free shit that a man would never get. Yeah, I know. Just man up. But I thought we were all equal. I thought things were supposed to be equitable. So why aren't the courts equitable? If you're a man having a child in this country, you don't have a chance. That's it. You don't have a chance. You're fighting everybody. You're fighting the cops. You're fighting your ex. Sometimes you're fighting your own family. You're fighting the courts. They can lie on you. You gotta prove you're innocent. They don't have to prove you're guilty. They can say anything they want. And what's crazy is they tell you to get a court order, but they can't enforce the first court order. 
I've got a fucking court order in my hand. And you're not enforcing it. You're telling me to go get another one. How the fuck does that make sense? Anyway, I'm done for the day. I've said enough. You guys enjoy your holiday. I'm going to see what I can do to find my son. The police won't help. Have a good weekend.